so we have a little update in the ongoing Johnny Depp and Amber Heard legal saga. Uh, as of a couple days ago, Amber Heard wants insurers to cover $10.3 million she owes to ex Johnny Depp. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Uh, but before we get into this article, let's rewind the clocks, shall we? Uh, we're, I'm going to take you back to November 3rd, a couple weeks ago. Johnny Depp appeals Amber Heard's $2 million counterclaim win, argues verdict was erroneous. So uh, basically, they're just following up on Amber's team uh, appealing the verdicts um, against her as well. Although one has to say Johnny's team, uh, his legal team is apt absolutely phenomenal uh, spearheaded by Benjamin Chu with breakout star Camille Vasquez so um, uh, let's just get into this real quick uh, yeah so Johnny won all three of his de defamation claims and was awarded more than 10 million dollars in damages plus punitive damages um, but they were capped uh, as in uh, the state of Virginia apparently caps punitive damages to a specific amount uh, meanwhile, Heard won one of her three countersuit claims and was awarded $2 million. This happened on Wednesday in this uh, Virginia Court of Appeals. Um, the statement in question was made by Depp's lawyer, Adam Waldman, in the Daily Mail published uh, uh, April 27, 2020, when he claimed Heard and her friends set up Depp by calling the cops with a hoax of abuse claims back in 2016. So it says in the court documents published online by Law and Crime Network, Depp's legal team, led by attorney Benjamin Chu, says despite an emphatic favorable verdict for Depp, and it was, the trial court was confronted with a number of novel and complex legal issues and factual issues. And although the trial court decided that vast majority of these issues sensibly and correctly, a few rulings were erroneous. Um, so yeah, Ms. Heard presented no evidence at, at trial that Mr. Depp was personally involved in directing or making any of the three Waldman statements. So um, this is kind of uh, interesting. It's par for the course. We knew this would happen. Um, and uh, it says in August, a rep for Heard announced that the actress changed her legal team. Yeah, I, I should think you you should have changed it halfway through the trial. Uh, Elaine Bredehoff stepped down, fired, uh, while Ben Rottenborn should have been fired, became co-counsel, and she hired David Axelrod. But anyways, um, it looks like uh, that's what's going on. And of course, they said when it comes to protecting the fundamental right of freedom of speech, we look at the jury's decision to paraphrase a famous quote, not, quote, as the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning. What the hell did you just say? With that in mind, let's fast forward to just two days ago. And uh, back to the main topic here. Amber Heard wants insurers to cover the $10.3 million she owes Johnny Depp. <laughs> Amber Heard has hit her insurance company with a lawsuit as she believes that they are obliged to pay or obligated to pay the $10.3 million she owes her ex-husband. Not a great plan. The Aquaman star filed a countersuit against New York, Maine, and General Insurance Company after said company sued the actor to save themselves from paying any amount to cover her loss. The insurer previously told the court that the jury in the high-profile defamation trial found her guilty of misconduct in her claims about Depp, hence they are not required to fulfill their policy under California law. Her to slap the company with claims that she struck an unconditional deal. Really, let's see the documentation on that. So if you look at this, uh, I can see the insurance company's um, position on this. It's like if you have insurance on your car and uh, let's say the car gets, uh, uh, you need some money and you decide that the car's just gonna get stolen or you're gonna burn the car to the ground, that's fraud and the insurance company, if they find out, they don't have to pay that. So if that's their thought process here, that because she uh, basically defamed Johnny Depp and misrepresented claims, that were proven in court, then they shouldn't have to fulfill their end of this contract. So it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. I feel like they're going to win. I think Heard is going to be stuck and on the hook for this cash to Johnny. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video and also subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and we will see you on
You know, that's not half bad. I'm gonna have to think up a name for that.